I guess part of the point is 18 inch hi-hats are cool, but the other thing is like, just because someone hasn't done it before, doesn't mean you shouldn't or you can't. What is up, people? So today, I uh, I just got a text from a buddy of mine, and he was asking me some questions, and it made me think, I'm going to do a YouTube video about this. Um, and I got a text from my friend who was saying, hey, do you have any cymbals, ride cymbals, hi-hats for sale right now? Uh, anything you want to get off your hands that you're not using? So I thought about it, and I said, no, uh, I kind of use everything I have. Um, but what are you looking for? And he s mentioned that you know he's playing for a new artist that... Uh, the style of music, he's needing something. He doesn't want to use crash cymbals. He just wants to use a ride cymbal and hi-hats. And if he's going to do that, he wants hi-hats that are a little bit bigger, have more decay. And I sent him a text back and I said, hey, uh, something that's worked really well for me is using bigger hi-hats that are crash cymbals that you pair together. So some of you that have seen me play live with, I used to tour with a band called Remedy Drive. Um, I'm actually wearing one of their t-shirts, weirdly enough. Uh, is it weird to wear a band that you were in formerly? Is it weird, weird to wear their t-shirts? I don't know. Put it in the comments. Uh, I'm sure some of you will think so. But I used to play with this band. That was just a crazy tangent. I used to play with this band, Remedy Drive, and it was a rock group. And for a while on the road, the only cymbals I was using was a 24-inch giant beat ride cymbal. Uh, which I would ride and crash, and then the only other symbols I had were a pair of 18-inch hi-hats. It's actually this pair of 18-inch hi-hats. Why did I use 18-inch hi-hats? Well, uh, oddly enough, we uh, with that band Remedy Drive, I was in the studio with them, and I was just, you know, I had a pair of 15-inch hi-hats that were fine, but they were pretty bright. Uh, and I'd never really been in the studio with him, so I sat down and started to play him and said, oh, these are pretty bright, I don't, I don't know if I'm digging these, especially for the music that we were making. So I, uh, I looked around the studio and I had, I had this 18-inch HHX Extreme Crash Symbol, 18-inch Sabian HHX Extreme Crash Symbol. I had that sitting around because I had brought it and I said, okay, well, that's an 18-inch crash. And in the studio, there was another old 18-inch Zildjian something. Uh, it was a crash cymbal, and it was a little bit heavier and a little bit brighter than this 18-inch HHX cymbal. So I said, wow, oh, try these as hi-hats, 18-inch hi-hats. And I kind of just did it as a joke. And then those are the cymbals that ended up on like all 10 of the tracks that are on that album. Ah, actually, they ended up on every track on that album except for one. And if you listen to the album... There's only one section that has the 15-inch hi-hats I brought, and every time I hear that section of the song, I, I, I cringe because I think those are too bright. I should have kept the 18s, but I literally, I was in the studio, we had been recording all these songs, and I said, should I switch the hi-hats? And Because I had been playing them on everything, and I was like, I don't want to overuse this, like, what I thought was a gimmick at the time. I was like, I don't want to overuse it. So I switched those symbols, I regret it, I shouldn't have done it. So if you listen to that album, the album is Commodity by Remedy Drive. If you listen to all the tracks on that album, and you send me what track and what section you think I use the 15-inch hi-hats on, uh, I will send you a couple pairs of sticks. No, Literally none of you are going to do that, but if you do, I will send you sticks, because I'll be impressed that you took the time to do that. Anyway, these 18-inch hats are amazing. I... I don't use them on everything because 18-inch hi-hats take up a lot of, as far as frequency range goes when you're recording, 18-inch hats take up a lot of frequency range um, because you have the stick, which is high, but when you crash them, you have all this low stuff. and So they're, they're mean and in your face, so, you know... 18 inch might be a little big for some of you, so maybe uh, hi hats that are 16 inches, which are two crashes, or 17 inches, which are two crashes. I think Steve Jordan's signature hi hats are 17 inch crash type symbols. Don't quote me on that. I don't know. I'm sure some of you guys do know, so put it in the comments if you know for sure. But 
This pair that I have here, it's an 18 inch HHX Extreme Crash Symbol, which is uh, dark and thin, and um, by extreme, it's kind of like, it's a little bit trashier than, and you've seen this symbol on a lot of stuff. You can look at any of my videos, and usually it lives right here. Um, but yeah, this is a great thin symbol, and then the other symbol I've paired it with is kind of a brighter, um, Sabian, I don't this is like an AAX or something. I literally don't know. The logos aren't on it anymore. Um, I, and I don't even know where the logos went. I bought this used, though. I just wanted something that this is... So if the HHX is kind of darker and thin, this is... This AAX is kind of brighter, more brilliant, and it's a little bit heavier and thicker. So this goes on the bottom, and then the HHX Extreme goes on top. And together, I think that they make a... Obviously, this is not a hi-hat sound you can use on every gig, right? Don't show up to your singer-songwriter event uh, where you're playing cajon, and I don't play cajon, but you... That's a whole nother... My, my friend Harry Myrie has a great uh, video out about how I, I do not like the cajon, but that's a totally different YouTube video. If you're going to your singer-songwriter thing, you're playing a little cocktail kit to get through... Don't bring these hi-hats. That's not the time or the place. But rock, loud country, uh, certain pop music. I like them because when you're closed and you're playing 16th note stuff, it's got this cool, crunchy kind of sound when they're closed. But when you open them up, it just sounds so massive and so huge. Um, so instead of like explaining all these qualities to you, I'm going to play them. And that's pretty much it. Basically... Um, you know, when my friend texted me today and was asking about it, and he, he said, do you think 18-inch hi-hats are too big? And I was like, too big? Why would... Who cares? If they sound good, who cares? You know, I used to show up with these 18-inch hi-hats, and people would say, whoa, what are those hi-hats? Those are crazy. Uh, and they'd kind of... Some people would kind of skeptically say, oh, well, you know, why do you use 18-inch hi-hats or whatever? But then when they hear them, they'd come to me afterward and say, hey, what are those hi-hats you're using? Because I loved them. So I guess... Part of the point is 18-inch hi-hats are cool, but the other thing is, like, just because someone hasn't done it before doesn't mean you shouldn't or you can't, right? Just because, you know, most people don't play 18-inch hi-hats doesn't mean it's illegal or that you're not a good drummer because you use them or whatever. Um, now, that being said, like, just because not everyone is playing 8-inch splash cymbals right now does not necessarily mean that you should bring your 8-inch eight, eight splash cymbals everywhere, right? It's all about, does it fit with the music and does it sound good? Uh, and if so, then who cares whether it's a 20-inch pair of hi-hats or 18-inch ride cymbal or whatever. Like, just because everyone right now is doing a certain thing doesn't mean you can't do something different than that and sound good and sound appropriate, right? So, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to play these hi-hats. <laughs>
check out the album that I played. If you really want to hear these hi-hats on an album where I played, uh, there's an album called Commodity by Remedy Drive. It's the one I was talking about earlier. You can check that out on Spotify. And the track Commodity by Remedy Drive, that was the single off that. Oh, give me six strings, not a six gun. Can anybody fix me? No physicians are carrying me on six wings to the six run on the sides of the north in the city of the black ones. I'm a- That's these hi hats. Starting in the second verse, these hi hats are all over it. So check that album out. I'm really proud of that album. Um, I love those guys, and I'm so thankful to have toured with them and been on that album, and I love the message. It's an anti-human trafficking album. I love what they're doing, and uh, listening back to that album brings back so many memories of making the album, being on the road, touring a ton, and it's just crazy memories. Those are the 18-inch hi-hats. I hope you enjoyed them. Uh, If not, let me know. Or if you've experimented with something like this yourself, let me know. Uh, It's super fun to play them, Uh, and again, If they sound right in the music, I think try it out, you know? So that's it for now. If you want to hear these more than just in this video, if you really want to hear these hi-hats, you can go check out the album Commodity by Remedy Drive, uh, and then even the single Commodity. um, You'll hear these hi-hats all over that track and that whole album. So check it out. And again, if you're willing to listen to that whole album and find the section, you think I used a pair of 15-inch hi-hats that sound very bright and... I wish I hadn't used them. Feel free to do it. I'll send you a couple pairs of sticks. But that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll see you in the next lesson.